everyone and today I'm going to be making an iconic dress in celebration for London Fashion Week. Not now a better time than ever to create or recreate the iconic um, spray paint dress that Alexander McQueen did. So we're going to do that but we're going to do a little bit of a twist with it um, sort of put like a new spin on it um, and just make it look super cool. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to do it up, make it all nice and fancy. And if my voice sounds weird, I'm still a little bit sick. So, still recovering from that. Um, but yeah. So these are the colours that I've got left uh, from when I sprayed my last dress when I did my DIY. I've still got this black and I have this green. I think I might start from the top and kind of do something a little bit different and kind of just make it spiral a little bit like a uh, Christmas tree. Uh, when you put the lights on and just kind of do something like that uh, which should be really interesting so I'm gonna do that and then we shall see what it looks like okay so I have the yellowy green and gonna kind of just start from up here let's see if this works it might have totally run out but we'll try it anywhere to see if we can get anything from it See if this spray thing works. Oh yeah, we're getting something. So I'll just do that and kind of go down here and then go from here. My hand looks a really weird color in this in this light. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to kind of get like a tissue or something and then kind of just spread it out. The um, back looks like, so I sprayed the paint on, um, that's all empty now. And then the next thing I did was, because I don't feel there was enough green on, so I ended up like squirting this like vintage paint, um, which is still, <laughs> it still works like proper paint. So even though it's vintage, it still works. So. so I kind of feel like it needs a little bit more of a yellowy colour, so I managed to find this one. My hands look a little bit purple, but I promise they're not purple, it's just the lighting in my attic. <laughs> so yeah, um, I found this light fluorescent yellow, and then I'm going to kind of put that and just just basically like squirt it like I did with a vintage paint um, on the dress, and then just, yeah. Uh, where did I put my brush? Oh, it's there. Found it! <laughs> Okay, so this is what I've done. I'm just kind of show a demonstration. So I'm just kind of spreading it out with this brush. It looks kind of cool, like the effect it's giving, which I like. So <laughs> just carry on just doing this. Pretty basic, really. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've done the back so I'm going to do the front and then I'm going to add the black okay so now I've just finished spraying the black on and after I'd finished um, spraying the black colour on um, which is this one I basically just like dabbed it afterwards just to kind of spread more of the colour out which is very similar to what I did in my um, last tutorial video which I will put in the link down below um so yeah i shall do the back okay so after doing the black i wanted to kind of like change it up a bit i tried like painting some flowers on the other side but i kind of felt like it still looks a bit bland so i wanted to give it a bit of a different twist so basically i drew some flowers on it and tried to make it a little bit different squirt some black paint on one side of the dress and then kind of like fold it over and then kind of just squash it down um, with my fist <laughs> so that the paint kind of just spreads and I just wanted to see what it kind of looked like so I'm gonna take unfold that now and see what that looks like it's like I've just unfolded it and this is what it looks like and it looks amazing I did not expect it to come out so good I thought it was just gonna end up like a blobby mess but I kind of love this um whole like mirrored 
pattern going on because it kind of it kind of reminds me of Atlantis the collection he did so yeah just kind of like a little McQueen style on um, one side the dress so yeah we're gonna wait for that to dry and then just see what it looks like overall so it'll probably take like a day a few days to dry so I will see you in a few days okay so this is what it looks like when it's dry um, I have no makeup, excuse me for that. Um, so yeah, this is what the front looks like, which is pretty neat. In the back, this is what it looks like at the back, I mean. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like at the back. And it's got the flowiness. I'm super tall, so I like, have to look really weird when I'm looking fine. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like at the back. So lots of green, lots of black. But overall, I think it I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put a belt with it and just see if that makes it look any different. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to make your own, I would recommend getting a white cotton dress and then getting all the items that I showed um, previously in the video. And hopefully yours turns out as good as mine. Um, but I think it's really good when everybody's like dresses and projects come out totally different I think that's the beauty of it is that like everybody has their own unique style and their own unique way of like doing things and it all comes out differently and it just gives everybody like their own special like artistic mark I guess you could say uh so yeah it looks really looks even better when I kind of like um like pull the sides out because there isn't that much color that's gone the sides and i think it kind of gives it this nice contrast so yeah anyway <laughs> so um hope you enjoyed my video and i'm feeling a little bit better now so that that's a good thing uh because this is like a few days after um i filmed my previous video so yeah uh so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all that stuff because it helps me out a lot and it means that i can uh, more videos for you guys um so i will see you in the next video so yeah um so stay tuned bye i don't know why but i kind of feel like this dress is just serious alice in wonderland vibes um i guess like an arty alice in wonderland <laughs> in another dimension okay right uh yeah i promise i'm finishing now so no more craziness in my video, so yeah, um, just sharing that, just sharing that thought of mine, um, so yeah, have a nice day.